part two. This is part two. If you haven't checked out the other part, go check it out. Okay? So, somebody got some, they want to confess, okay? Um, Y'all may receive some type of love call, but be cautious. It might be a booty call. Okay? Because there is someone in the middle of something. Okay? On the bottom of this deck. We got heart with key. Welcome in love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. Okay? I do feel like it's like somebody wants to profess their love to you. Like, they want to court you. They want you to be open to this new love experience. And they want you to be free. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. Especially looking at, like, this energy. And it's like, the only thing that's stopping this way, this person from confessing their love and having this conversation is someone else. Like, literally. Because we had, um, before the reading even started, we had love call. It came out. I put it back in the day. And I told y'all I had seductive. So, either this person has, like, this magnetic attraction to you and they find you to be very seductive. Or this person could have been seduced by someone else. Okay. That can be it as well, too. Maybe this person was seduced by somebody else. Maybe they fell for temptation and this was somebody that you were dating or someone um is given this isn't somebody that you were necessarily in a relationship with okay we got dragonfly be lighthearted find out things come to light adapt change heal okay Someone also could be realizing they could be having some newfound emotions with the open your heart and heart with key. Like, you know, someone could be welcoming and um, um, emotions, learning more about, you know, love, like allowing themselves to love and be loved. Because open your heart is here twice. It's right here and then on the heart with key. This is someone who feels like when you guys are together, it's perfect. Like, and they're going through some type of change. Something that they found out or it's something that's coming to light. And it has something to do with somebody else. Okay. Let's see. We got the runner. Runner and codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. Okay. So this could have been somebody who ran from the love. Okay. Whoever this is could be going through like a heart shock or awakening. They could have gave a love offer to someone else. Okay. Someone they decide to run to to go date. Okay. With passion, we got insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. Okay. Maybe this person ran towards a sex based connection. Okay. Maybe they felt like whoever they had this connection with had their heart. Maybe this is something that somebody needed to confess. That they were running from you because they felt like their heart was with somebody else. This could be something that somebody's finding out. That somebody was dating somebody else and this they ran to somebody else because they felt like they had this passionate connection that they was love. But maybe this person got let go of or... Somebody else let them go, whoever this someone else is. Because there was some type of sabotage in here. And I feel like it has something to do with outside of where you're at. Because I feel like you're, re you're releasing. You could be making room for a new beginning. You know? Or maybe this is a, this person might be running back. Maybe they're finding something out about someone getting in the way of a connection. Okay, with you. But they still in some way ran from this connection too, you know. Even if they did allow someone else in, in the way of the connection. 
they had their own personal reasons to why they were running from this. On the bottom of the deck, we got the chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So they could have had somebody chasing them, okay? Or they may have expected you to chase them. Take it how it resonates, okay? Now, for some, it could be that they expect you to chase them, and you may be used to being in this chaser energy. Like, if this person runs, you know, you come a chasing. And that's why spirit is saying trust your intuition and caution and let go. Because you can have actual love. Whatever this is can be maybe just sex-based. Yeah, because we got healthier choices. Make healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. Okay? Like, somebody is being guided to make healthier choices. Like, to not chase whoever this person is. Because this is an unhealthy dynamic and i don't feel like the collective is the one that's doing the chasing now this person may be ready to come and chase you because they're seeing that you are the healthy decision they could have wore a, a mask and you guys is connection okay but there is some type of situation where somebody's in a karmic cycle and it's a runner chaser dynamic Okay. And you could be headed in the opposite direction. And again, um, this person could be running towards you. They could be getting chased by someone else and wanting to run towards you. You could be in solitude right now because it's like this. She's just in here alone. You know, but somebody was wearing a mask. Take time, need time, take uh, need time, take time, and time cycles, time to heal progress and heartbreak. So some of you um could still be healing from a situation where y'all were in a runner chaser dynamic, and spirit may be telling you to trust your intuition when it comes to your healing. You may need time out to heal. Make sure you take out that necessary time to. You know heal from whatever connection that may have broke your heart okay because we got heartbreak here deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling the loss grieving mourning if you still grieving a connection trust your intuition don't just hop into a new connection with someone else because you know you feel like just getting straight into the dating scene um it's gonna help you heal from heartbreak it's probably gonna put you in another unhealthy dynamic with the runner chaser here and you're going for healthier connections choices okay but with cupid arrow here have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation somebody definitely plans on calling you giving you some type of love offer okay love is coming so have faith this might be some type of surprise invitation i'm telling y'all it might be somebody unexpected that you may not even expect like, you still healing from heartbreak, and you might be thinking, like, this person from the past that broke your heart is the one that's going to pop up. But it might be just somebody else. It may be somebody else. Maybe somebody you have ran from. So, like I said, take it where the role it fits. But there's somebody who wants to, like, confess how they feel, like, their emotions. The fact that they're in love. They're welcoming in love. Like, they're wanting love. And I feel like this is something that you want to open up your heart. But go to part three.